Okay guys, welcome to my tutorial on the bunker play in the game. We're going to start with Greenside Bunker and then I will uh, try to maneuver to the Fairy Bunker in this hole that's short to the green there and give you my thinking on playing that shot. Right, so from the Fairway, sorry, from the Greenside Bunker, right, flop 20 yards. These are the clubs I have. I'm not, I, I can't attest to the clubs with 75 wedge, 50 wedge, and about 100 wedge. I can, but not that you'd be using them from a greenside bunker. So unfortunately, I, I have no experience on them increment clubs. I'm basically going off the 60, 80, and 100 wedge. Okay, so you have the 20 yard, and first of all, you're aiming. You're gonna aim left of the pin left of the pin because it just comes out right the ball flies out right so yeah, I'm left of the pin I'm gonna aim a little more because the gradient there is sloping from left to right so and you do full backspin now in general 20 flop full backspin full power goes 12 yards on the flat now we have a 10 yard bow shot but it's pretty much gonna cancel out with the upslope there's a big upslope on this let me just show you that See, it's pretty generally and I probably won't see it you can see maybe the slight dots but it is it, trust me and anyone that knows the second all Marion that that is quite uphill now back to the shot selection 20 wedge full backspin so I'm gonna start with full power we've hit full power got ourselves a nice little ding she pops out lovely has a little look at all perfect now on the flat green where you're not going up out that runs the 12 we are i'm using 12 speed greens as you see here you have to like if you're on slower greens you might have to account for that um but in general you might have a club that has a less spin capability so it might cancel each other out and run out all my kind of tutorials are based on the high-end clubs because i have the high-end ball and the high-end clubs but you can like work back from the clubs you have and you might be able to garner something something of use from these videos so i'll try that again because there's a way of doing the meter that um kp does that i saw kp and um, it is a flop a flop and way he, he aims at the pin but he uses this first meter here not the ding meter the first line of the meter now i'll try this i don't even know if this will work i we just we will try it out but that's what he uses and he goes there that comes out pretty low yeah don't think i'm going with that kp back to school pal <laughs> but um no i'm gonna stick with my one all right let's go let's go again right so you will see how this pretty much works every time so if you have a lesser obviously a lesser yardage just just take less power where we are full power there hold on <clears throat> like if it's 10 yards just take it a little bit off yeah you just have to leave yourself a little bit of run out it will come out of the air quickly so it's gonna run so you have to make sure that the ball will carry whatever grass is in front if that pin is tucked tight to the green you have to just be cognizant of the ball being able to carry and before the run out starts so i'm gonna one more go at this <coughs> to see if we can hold it because that would be that'd be pretty cool on a little tutorial video let's see we go with a little early ah that came out right Ooh, that was horrible that was horrible it's mad little inconsistent the strikes can be closer to the ding doesn't matter we have one more one more go to see if it is ding dependent i never stopped learning at this game i could probably teach myself a thing or two here <laughs> okay full and okay, let's get this one close to the ding all right okay see a lot of that is the gradient you pretty much one more go to actually give you a good idea where i am on a flat where's the pin gone that is pretty much how it like for you guys to do grid a grid and a half maybe two grids for this shot we'll go two and a half i don't really measure in grids as you could probably surmise from watching so we play this again and that's gonna have a little up but not 
So that's pretty much all you have to. You just obviously you have to be the second, like the second half of the shot. You know, really plays like a putt. You have to be wary of whether you have a tier to go up, how uphill it is, how down, how downhill it is. Like if you were playing from this opposite bunker on this side, you'll have to be cognizant of the down slope here and factor in all these these things. But basically, though, the stock thing flop will go twelve yards flop full spin 20 yard flop full spin goes 12 yards and then you can work it you can kind of work it from there and then um, let's see if we can you can work it from there backwards whatever club views are using and try uh, figure it out that way now i'm going to hit the ball down to this bunker here hopefully we can get it if my tutorial is right i should be able to Oh no, I hope this is full power. Give me one second, guys. Full power down to there. Hopefully that just carries into the bunker. Get out of the air, please. Perfect. That's it. Now I'm looking for a 30, 40 light. Did I get? No, 60, 70. Thank you. Thank you for not helping me. We'll just try hit it over here. And um, if you're looking for a tutorial on 60 to 70 bunker shots, Tell me when you find one. I don't know what to do here. You're pretty knackered. But um, we might have a go at that in a minute. That should give me 30, 40 now, I think. Yeah. Right, 30, 40. <coughs> <coughs> right, bunker shot. Um, fairway bunker shots are played pretty different. 43 yards. This is a. We can use this. It, this will be the same. It'll work up to a 100 yard wedge to 90 yards. You pretty much can play an accurate, quite an accurate shot and from 90 yards in. After that, you're pretty snooker you won't unless you get a lucky bounce or whatever but you can get it close from 90 yards in with the wedges now what do we have here we have 43 so the rule of thumb i play from fairway bunkers is full backsman obviously and at 10 yards at 10 yards and that's all you do but now i have struggled to get a carry here so this is my this is the one thing you have to watch out for. If you have loads of green to work with before the pin, not a problem. Just add ten yards. Obviously, be again cognizant of the slopes if you're heavily downhill, like on the twelfth in uh, Oakmont, the pair of five. You know, it's obviously going to run out. So this is basically on a flat green. If you the pin there and you have loads of green to work with, it will ten yards onto your uh, full wedge, full spin. And I'll get there. So let's just play one and see see how this pans out. Hopefully, I won't make too much of a liar of me. But a um, little bit of wind there. You don't have to be too. It's getting out of the air quick, so you don't have to be too worrisome of the wind. So we're hitting, say, around 53. That's roughly around 53. So let's hit this. Lands on the green nicely. We'll run out pretty tidy. Thank you very much. But again, just carried onto the green. So you can we'll go back there and you'll see how much green, and this is with the 60 wedge, how much green you need. That only just carried onto the green. So you kind of need that much run, and that is significantly uphill there. You know, it is significantly. Now it's, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad uphill. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm operating on 12 greens here, if you're so curious about that. It's 12 greens we're playing onto here. So. 43 yards we'll have another go at that full back spin so i can show you how consistent it can be um, so 53 that's probably a little shy is it ding dependent you want to kind of get a ding on it for contact purposes still running out that's probably even better see and one more just to confirm that this is pretty good at walking all the time as you can see I don't use the shot path so I am kind of eyeballing this as I do with every shot but it's pretty much working out that could be in and it is in thank you very much so 14 shots only took me 14 shots so basically now that shot adding 10 yards onto your fairway bunker shots like i said works up to the 100 yard wedge when you have a 90 yard shot you can if you have 90 yards to the green with loads of green you'll need green to work with and it's pretty flat 
you play from a 3040 lie, hit that 100 wedge, a full backspin, full power, and it will get pretty close. It'll get, you know, you'll be inside 10 feet, you'll be happy with that for a putt. You know, sometimes you can get it closer. It works for the 80 wedge. If you have a 70 yard shot, full 80. If you have like a 60 yard shot, obviously your 60 wedge won't go there. Hit your 80 wedge with 70 yards worth of power, full backspin. Um, the fact you're hitting low power won't take add sp won't be take away from the spin characteristics. It will still spin as much as you see. It doesn't really spin as much spin at all. It just runs out. Um, and that's pretty. That's all pretty. All the knowledge I have for bunkers for you, but like it can be very effective because that fairway bunker shot can be an absolute killer. But when you kind of learn how to play it, you know you, you'd expect to get close if you have decent clubs or balls. Um, like I say, you just walk back from this if you have lesser balls. You'll be able to take something from me. You might have to add a little more power. You might have to um, not put so much spin on it. You, you basically, I would use this as a starting block. And these, I find them very useful. That So basically, in summary, fairway bunkers, 10 yards onto your wedge only works up to 90 yards if you go over the 90 yards you're struggling you won't and there's no there's no real tip for like a 150 yard bunker shot you're just not reaching the green you know you just got to put the ball back into play but from 90 yards in you can get close you can get quite close so the idea is not to fear the shot not to think absolute disaster it's very makeable and very with practice not hard to get it inside 10 feet all the time and Greenside bunkers, to summarize that, is a 20 yard shot. Um, no, sorry, um, you use the 20 yard flop. We will go 12 yards. 20 yard flop, full spin, we'll go 12 yards. And once you have that kind of stock thing to work for, you add in conditions, wind, the slope you're playing on, to the green speed you have, and you'll find you'll, find you'll get closer. But it's a good starting point to work with. So, that's pretty much all I have for you on bunker shots in WGT. I hope you find this of some use. Talk to you soon guys.